Hello friends, welcome to your own channel on artificial intelligence and machine learning. We are learning Apache Airflow. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an Airflow variable, retrieve the value of Airflow variable and its usage, when to use it. Let me jump to my Visual Studio code and show you a sample Airflow code. This is our sample Airflow code. These are our standard basic imports. The entire code is on your screen. If you want to type it, you can pause the screen and type the code. So these are our various imports. Here I am retrieving the airflow variables. Now where are these variables declared? So let's go to the airflow user interface screen. Okay, this is my airflow interface. Here all my tags. Let me go to DAGs. Here are all my DAGs. And here you can see admin menu item in which you have variables. So let's click on variables. Here you declare your Airflow variables. As you can see, I have already declared three variables. You can go ahead and declare a new variable by clicking on this plus button, add a new variable, type the key and the corresponding value, give a short description to the variable. So here, as I already have it, the three variables, I'll go back and show the variables. So this is my first variable. Here I'll click on edit. I have declared a variable x, y, z, just given a value 10 and a small description, a sample variable example. Then here is another variable, which is password. Note, if you use the word password or if you use a word API key automatically the value will be password protected it will come as a encrypted format you will not be able to see the actual value so here there is some value which is not visible let me type the value once again k2 analytics training is the best this is the value I have associated with this password I click it here I say save you can see this is protected I go back and say edit it will come in a protected way it will not be displayed so one of the application is when you want to declare variable Quite often, we make use of config files. In config file, we store the information. In case you do not want, because config file is like any other text file. Anyone can open and see the values. In case you do not want the password to be saved in a config file, this is one application where you can use airflow variables now this is a third variable here i have created a variable db connection variables and all the parameter which is related to a database connection like the host ip the name user the password sorry not the password the port the schema all of that I have given here. I can give a 
description database connection parameters okay save note all these variables which you declare in airflow variables they get stored in the back end in a database the database with which the airflow has been configured so if you have many variables individual variables for example here i had db host ip name user port schema i declared it as a json if you declare this as individual variables each time when you want to retrieve the value for that corresponding variable it will have to open a database connection and close the connection as such the better practice or you can say the best practice is to put all variables together which you are going to require as a json in one key variable and then in one shot you retrieve that key value now how to retrieve the values is where we'll go back to our code i hope you understood how to declare the variables here is the code we have to import the variable package not sure why it is showing red underlines but the code is all going to work so here you import the variable and how to retrieve the value you say variable dot get the key here we don't require deserialize because it is not a json so this can be deleted okay so the value of xyz will get retrieved and it will get stored in this small case xyz simulate dbcon variables now here please note i am retrieving the value but i am not serializing it in this statement i am deserializing the json and this is the final variable password so how to retrieve variable dot get we have simply declared a function to print the value and see the data type so i have just written the same statement but i am printing the value of xyz json object dict object pwd so these are the print statements and here one specific statement because we are deserializing the json string it will get converted to a dictionary object and once you convert it to a dictionary object you can then retrieve easily the variables for the dictionary keys which you declared in the json string if you don't deserialize it then this entire value will come back as one string value so here we did not deserialize in that case extracting value of each variable will become difficult okay this part is a standard part which you by now have known that this is how we declared a dag so i have named my dag as example airflow variables and start airflow variable and so this is the complete code let us see how it looks on the ui examples airflow variables the graph view start airflow variables end start this is a dummy operator airflow variables this is our python operator end so three tasks start and end are simple dummy operators 
and here we will trigger the DAG. We trigger it. Let's see the output. Let's go and see the log because we have number of print statements. Okay. The value of XYZ is 10 and its data type is string. So basically, any value which you get by default will come as a string. The value of variable JSON object. This is our second statement. And JSON object was retrieved something like this. Okay. The value of JSON object is, and this is the anti JSON object, and it says it is of type string. Okay. The third print statement dictionary object. And here it says that data type is dictionary and because it is a dictionary we can now access individual key using dictionary object and the key just like this and this is the password the value of password is we retrieve the value of password and it is not shown the value is retrieved but its value is not displayed. Okay. Great. What we'll do, we'll now have this deserialized JSON being added here. I'll save this code. And once again, we go back to our DAG. Back. Let us execute the DAG once again. Trigger the DAG. Okay, let's see the log. This time around, the value of XYZ is 10 and its data type is integer because we added deserialize equal to true. So, because of deserializing, we got the actual data type okay and here when we add deserialize equal to true we got the json string converted as a dictionary object when to use when number of setting or config parameters you want to make use in your code you can put those setting or config parameters as a JSON key value pair in one of the variables. When you want password or API key to be saved, you can save the password or the API key and it will be in a protected format. Now, here is a small Python code. You may think that, hey, because these are features of Airflow, as such, these variables can be accessible only in the Airflow DAG. No, you can write a simple Python code also, where I am not having any DAG syntaxes. All of these are not there. This entire piece of code, variable, how to access it, all of that I have just copy pasted here. So from Airflow models import variable, I am getting these values and I'm printing it. Okay, as simple as that. And if I now call this code here, I'll invoke this airflow variables.py file. And you can see all the output which we saw in the DAG, we get the same output. You may think, where am I going to use this? If you are writing PyTest, if you are writing PyTest code, and in the PyTest code, you want to make use of the variables which has been declared in the Airflow, 
you can make use of these variables in your PyTest code. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have been able to explain you how to create, retrieve and use the Airflow variables. If you really like the videos, then why not press the like button? Why not share this with your friends and colleagues who can also benefit from it? And if you have not subscribed to our channel, request you to kindly subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in the upcoming video.